career in the juniors. But prior to the qualifying here in New York he was playing a challenger event in Europe and he got here on late on a Sunday. To start the qualifying been week challenges most of the year. What he does have is he's got a big serve and he's six five. And he's lefty. And so that is uh, why there was. This belief and expectation that he was going to get to the top now. Is he as good an athlete as some of the other top guys No. Has he. Dedicated himself and, and conditioned himself perhaps as well as some of the others. It doesn't look like it. But he's got some game and I think he's this is. Uh, Changed his career, complete career change right here. I mean, he's this is the proverbial second chance. It's just incredible turnaround. That was well played. We uh, should Mueller. check. He's 130 coming in to this tournament. And that in and of itself is amazing. So, so if he loses, I mean, we're, we're going to get. Megan or someone on the research team to find out what he will be ranked were he to lose this which uh, if he wins this bill because this is the end of our 25 year run you'll say I think I'm going to stand on my head I'm not, you're not as young as you used to be. I I'm may do sure. a set of that match with Djokovic <laughs> <laughs> on my head it's our last full day of coverage of the U.S. Open here on USA and it's been a great 25 year run. This is why Roger Federer is the part of why he's won 12 in a row. His ability to take a serve, a big serve, and block it back with enough on it to find space. Oh. Muller's going to have to hit lines. Like, you know, that's the, the, the previous point, he didn't hit it wide enough, hit the winner, Roger. That one skidded off the line at 120. I mean, that's the type of serving that he's going to have to do for about three and a half hours. Yeah, Solid opening service game for Mueller. Somebody asked him about the pressure. He said, Well, it's true. I have nothing to lose. On the other hand, I have a lot to win. I've been waiting for, sure. for this chance. There's still some pressure. He just said it's easier to deal with the pressure to win something than to lose something. The year he beat Andy Roddick, for example, it was just uh, it's a pretty much uh, talking about the point you just made. There's no pressure when he beat Roddick, right? I mean, he was expected to lose. He beats Roddick three tiebreakers. The next round, he goes out against Robbie Ginepri and loses 6 1, 6 1, 6 4. So the time so far in the past, which is why this is so beautiful, he just uh, hasn't been able to deal with it. The year he beat Nadal, the same year at, at Wimbledon. He went out the next day and Rich, or next round, Richard Gasquet beat him in straight sets. <laughs> Only one time before today has he even been in the third round of the major. Serve opening set men's quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. Open on USA is brought to you by American Express, official card of the U.S. Open. Are you a card member? Back in New York, Roger Federer on serve against Jill Muller of Luxembourg. Our crack staff, uh, specifically Megan back there, who helps us with these little known.